Okay, hi guys, it's me. Um, <laughs> God, no idea what I'm about to say. Right, today I'm making yarn fur. Which sounds really weird. Basically, I'm using normal wool. Today I'm using black. And I'm making just like fur. Basically, you're brushing it out so that it becomes fur. It's, it's a cheap but long way of making fur. And because there's so much, and this is such a little amount. You can use it to cover fabrics, make like um, braiding, things like that, like round top. So you can get like a furry neckline. <laughs> you can make lots of it. So far I've made two. Yay. Okay, so I'm basically going to tell you what I've been doing. Okay, first of all you need your yarn, just any standard wool. I'm using this. Hopefully that means something to you, because it doesn't to me. It was about £1.50 for something this big, which means I'm going to get a lot of fur out of it. It's really good, plus if I have any left over, probably knit something, because I'm weird. Right, <laughs> so you've got a ball of yarn, you want something about this big to wrap it around. I've been using my iPod speakers, Ugh. there we go. Get the end of your yarn, and just literally just keep wrapping it around. So you've got about, I'm going for six strands, but if you want like a lot, a lot of fur, then just keep going. So what's that? Four, five, six. I might have done seven on the last one, I'll do seven. Okay, get it at the edge. And cut. And you have a big, oh, I've got an end. And you have a big long bit of wires. Wires? threads. <laughs> okay, I'm cutting that down because that's really long fur. If you want, this is the good thing because you can make the actual pile, like the length of the fur, really long or really short. So I'm doing it quite short. But you could have really long fur if you wanted, which you don't get when you buy short bought fur. So I'm just cutting it to the length that I want. So now I've got two bits. Okay, get it ready. And not in the centre. Um, if you want long strands and short strands, and tie the knot, not in the centre. But I'm just trying to make quite a lot of fur, like quite thick. So it's like a little moustache. Okay. <laughs> wow, quite special. Right. Now I'm going to show you what I'm doing down here. Whee! Okay. I've got a. What do you call it? Not a napkin, a handkerchief out on my carpet, just this bit, because I always get fur on my carpet and it sticks. This is my leftovers, by the way. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'll probably work something out later on. Might just make a bag of fluff. <laughs> okay. You need a comb. I'm Where I actually got, like, the idea, kind of, for this, was somebody was using a dog <laughs> I was watching a video on YouTube a cat video obviously you know of somebody stroking their cat with um, stroking brushing their cat with like a fur comb anyway yeah so if you have like a dog comb or something like that with like the really thin like prongs then use one of them but this is like a normal hair cutting comb with different sizes so that ends really thick and they get really small anyway <laughs> I got distracted Right, what you want to do is just brush it out, okay? Start with the big prongs and get the ends out. What you're trying to do is unravel the yarn. Now, hold on to the knot because it does have a habit coming loose. Um, as you can see where it's been braided, they're like wiggly. Oops. They're quite wiggly when they come undone. Yeah, that's what you want to happen for every single string. So start at the bottom. Keep brushing at the bottom, sorry. And then work your way up the fur. Um, keep twisting it when you've got ones that don't seem to like, like, turn it around and stuff. So you can brush it all out. Okay. Ooh, message on Facebook. Okay, once you've done that and it's mostly unraveled I say mostly I'm not very patient <laughs> it's unraveled ish plus I'm not having my fur like perfect 
I'm just kind of going with, I need a lot of it and I don't have lots of time, so yeah. <laughs> right, now use a smaller end of your brush. Ooh, smaller end. You probably can't tell. Smaller end. Sign of prompt. And start brushing it out a bit more. This, right, you can tell all the excess is coming off on my brush. See all that? We're putting that, ooh, I'm going onto the carpet. We're making a little part of that. If I find a use for it, I'll make a video of that. But yeah, just keep brushing it out. And eventually, it gets really fluffy. Yes, it's going to, like, what's the word? Thin out a lot. Because what you're doing is basically getting rid of, like, the piece of yarn which haven't been pro probably like knotted in. See, my ends aren't very good. Let's just get for it. Yeah, I've gone back big end to like try and spread out my ends because they're not been very good. There we go. Right. When you're satisfied be quite fluffy. That's a real bad example. So like here, got my moustache again, there in the middle. The other end, and it's really furry. If you don't want these ends where it's gone all shit, <laughs> you can always cut them off so it's literally just a fur bit on top where it's been all matted by me. Um, what I'm gonna do with these weird bits of fur is through the knot here, I'm going to sew them vertically, so I've got double layers, onto, oh, like, sew around the neckline, like this, to give me, like, a fur collar, and things like that. So, you would have, like, if you wanted to do one beneath, you would be doing it, like, so, you could literally make a whole fur bodysuit out of this, and because it's so cheap. It's just a lot of manpower. A lot of work. So yeah. Ooh, face. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. This is a really stupidly long video and you're probably not interested. But that's what I'm doing and I'm making a furry waistcoat thing. Just really big lots of fur. Because I like fluffy things. <laughs> so see you guys and I'll chat to you.